Hello everybody and welcome back to some Mega Modded Gungeon. We are jumping in again. Unfortunately, Never Named is back in the basement. He is not here for today, but we're just going to jump in, play a regular old run and see what's what. Ooh, I'm getting a phone call. Good timing. Good timing. My God. One second. Okay, back. <laughs> Unfortunately, having a phone call at the very moment I start my run. But we start with terrible items. So honestly, give us a restart. I want some fun stuff. Give me some fun and interesting things. No wind-up gun, please. Wind-up gun can be fun if you get some nice synergies, but honestly, ain't my style. Ain't my style. Let's go for something kind of saucy. Go for something kind of interesting. And let's see what we might do if the game would load. <laughs> I thought I'd actually crash the game there. We do have an update, by the way, to uh, somebody's mod planet side. Oh my god, Pea Shooter and Ruby Ring? Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's offensive. That's so bad. An item that is literally useless and a gun that is literally useless without synergies. That is unfortunate. Okay, come on the game. You can give me a good one. This has been a great start to an episode, hasn't it? Absolutely fantastic. I'm, I just, I put out the most entertaining content on YouTube. I really do. I really do. I need to probably record some more uh, Isaac after this as well, so on for a bit of a sesh. I've been recording a lot of Revita recently. Is it really going to take some sort of, oh, we got some with Curse. Something with Curse. I've been playing a lot of Revita recently as well. I think I mentioned that in the previous episodes, but okay. So we got another terrible weapon. We got this Conjure the Shadows of, um, Conjure the Shadows to your will, giving bonus pickups. I'm, I'm going for another restart. Don't give me the bloody Gungeon Ant. It's terrible. Is that what it's called? Gungeon Ant? God damn, that weapon. Why is there so many terrible weapons? Like, I get every tier has to have a bad weapon, but come on now. Weapons that are nearly useless. Okay, so this time we got some good stuff here. We got ourselves Liquid Metal Body. Um, basically, we get longer immunity um, upon taking damage. And we got a decent enough gun. We're just going to stick with this. I don't want to take forever going through this. I just want to play some damn Gungeon. But yeah, we might see some new stuff from um, the Planet Side mod, and hopefully we can get ourselves some um, some trades and secrets from that mod. We saw in one of the recent episodes I did with Never Named that I just got a ton of opportunities to, to trade away my, um, my Master Rounds. That's still one of my favorite features of the mod. Just having a reason to lower your HP in the late game like, and, and, and like your maximum HP, not just your HP. It's so good because like once you get to the amount of hours that I'm on, I mean, even once you get to about five, six hundred hours in this game, you get to the point where you essentially flawless almost every boss. I wouldn't say that I flawless every boss. Obviously, there is times when I fumble and don't quite get the flawless, but you're going to get him most of the time. And I feel like this game is kind of like... If you can get the flawlesses, everything else is kind of free. Because you just have enough HP to get through everything. So, yeah. It's nice to now have a way for people that are um, that are better at the game. Or people that are just are getting flawlesses more often. To have a reason to stay at low HP. And it's as well, like, from what I've seen so far, the benefits... Oh my god. It's Weezer. Um, the benefits that we get... Um, what What is this? Uh, and we've shown enemies increasing damage done. Okay. I don't exactly know what that does because it didn't increase my damage stat. Maybe it lowers their health? I don't know. Anyways, we got Weezer. Um, it's kind of funny. But yeah, um, it's it's not like as well the, the things that you get are super powerful. Some of them are a bit strong, but like you can get like the all-seeing eye that just shows you where the secret rooms are. And there's a few, a few ones there that are a little lighter that aren't quite as crazy. Um, and it's nice to have those, so you're not gaining a ridiculous amount of power, but there's still a good enough reason to risk it all. There's still a good enough reason to trade your HP away. Now, I still don't really know the exact formula for how we garner these rooms. Apparently, it does depend on your performance throughout the floor. So I'm imagining one of the big things is not getting hit for the whole floor. I don't know if not getting hit for the whole floor will guarantee that one spawns, but I think it's a lot more likely. Um, we got ourselves Endless Bullets, which I think is just infinite range, right? Um, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think Endless Bullets is just infinite range. Which is actually pretty good in a lot of guns. There's, there's some guns where it's, it really doesn't matter, but there's a lot of guns where it can be pretty huge, especially shotguns. Uh, so we, we, we might grab that. Um, ooh, a black chest here. Hey, oh, the A key. Very, very nice. Not only is this just a good gun, but unlimited keys is pretty good. It means we can go to the oubliette here if I can keep my barrel alive, which I'm going to try desperately to do here. Oh, 
Okay, we even got another chest here, which is very nice. Hey, we got Magic Missile, which is ridiculously powerful. Thank you. It's basically just RC Rocket in your pocket, which rhymed, and I'm so happy that it did. Um, also, we can now get this chest as well. Um, if I remember correctly, the AK, you only have to be holding it. You don't have to actually shoot it. Yeah. So we got ourselves an Icicle here. There's some good stuff. Um, I might as well go and open up these two. Good, good. Right, let's go. Okay, so I think I'm just going to carry on using my shock rifle. It's pretty good. I think with my magic missile, I should be pretty good to go here. Like, it is kind of hard to hit it because it is, like, controlled like the RC rocket. And on controller, I feel like that's certainly a little more difficult to hit. But it's not terrible. It's a good idea for an item, to be fair. I do like it. It, it, it is quite strong, but I do like it. Okay, we've, we've put ourselves in a little bit of a rough spot with Gatlingle here, but he is dead, so... There's our floor. Let's, let's see if we get the things. We didn't get hit all floor. I, fi I feel like if I if you don't get hit all floor, it's a guarantee. Um, we get that. We'll check this out. Um, excuse me? Okay, there you go. And what we got here? Gunslinger, Gunslinger, or Pit Lord's Pact. I don't know. It's kind of weird that I can get two Gunslingers here. Um, I don't really want Gunslinger. Pit Lord's Pact... I, don't, I still don't really know what it does. I'm going to go see if somebody's updated the wiki. It'd be super nice if he has, but I'm honestly not sure. Um, let's have a look. Planet side. Where the hell's... Oh, there it is. Okay, because he might have updated it. It'd be really nice if he has, because I still don't really know what these do. Um, duh, 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 duh. I don't think he has... Let's see, let's see if I can find it in the in the Discord chat. One second, I'm going to pause the recording for a second here. Okay, so, it's good. It's real good. We're going to take it. Essentially, what we can do with it is we can reroll weapons and items and stuff by throwing them in pits. And we can, like, throw tables in pits to get money. We can throw ourselves in pits to get money. We can do a lot of different stuff. Of course, there isn't many pits on this floor, but the next floor will have a little bit more for us. I don't think we can afford the endless rounds. Yeah, it's a little upsetting. I don't have any reason to buy a key right now. It's a little bit of a shame here. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's go to our oubliette floor. Do some stuff over there. See what's what. I'll use the huntsman for now. We got we got something for throwing ourselves in a pit there. That technically counts, apparently. But yeah, so we can like gain rewards from pushing uh, things into pits. And enemies that are over the top of pits also take damage. I think that includes flying enemies too, so that's really nice. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll try and I'll try and do some interesting stuff here and see what we can do. Um, I might try and re-roll an item here and see what's what. Okay, apparently I did push an enemy in a pit there and got some stuff. Apparently it's not a guarantee for a reward, so I'm not expecting it all the time. But yeah, if I can push enemies into pits, I should. Because I can get extra rewards for that. Um, so let's try and re-roll this. How exactly would I drop this in a pit, though? Oh, there you go. Hey, there you go. Okay, re-rolled it for the cold 45. Not a great re-roll, but not terrible. There you go. That did, like, a lot of damage. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. We got a locked door there. Is that just our arm um, piece it is? Yeah, we need something with, like, really high knockback. I think I think it did increase our knockback. We've got 1.5 there, as you can see. Which, yeah, I think, I think it did that. But, like, this dude's over a pit look, and he's taking damage. And then all of those dudes took damage and died. That's really useful. Okay, I quite like that. Okay, you can go. And you as well. So a lot of these are going to go over the pits and just hurt themselves. That's really cool. I'm liking this a lot. Now that I understand how this works, I'm a little more intrigued. still not a perfect, perfect solution. Like, it's still not going to give us tons of stuff, but it's pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. I need something that's got, like, ridiculous knockback already. Just to play into it a little bit. Got a good amount of money here going into this. Double A battery, a sack of pickups. Gun muncher. I don't know what the double A, the, the double A battery does. I'm just going to take it. 
I'm going to guess it's something along the lines of faster item charge. We do get a trap room here, unfortunately. <laughs> Cheeky little trap room there. Ooh, by the way, I apologize to Apache. I actually, um, ooh, hello. Um... Ooh, hello. I actually forgot to update, um, expand the Gungeon. There is actually an update for expand. Okay, this thing's got knockback. This is a really terrible room. Okay, we got it. Why am I using keys? I'm dumb. I mean, it doesn't really exactly matter. We also got Daft. So we got like a Daft Punk and a Weezer item. <laughs> Tell me it has a silver shine. Unfortunately, it only has a single right headphone and half the lyrics. The songs are coming out. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just take these guys out nice and chill. Use magic missile whenever it's ready, because why not? I want to have my uh, my tower cannon ready whenever uh, whenever a pit is available to us. I mean, there is a pit here. I just don't think it's going to be that easy to use. Yeah, it's really hard to use this thing effectively to push enemies into pits when we're in a room like this. In some other rooms, it might be a little more feasible, but that room, not so much. Yeah, I should stop using keys as well. You blew up my table, you fool. Hey, we got some health for that. And there you go, we got a blank for that. Gotta be careful with the tower cannon because we charge it too much. We're gonna have a bad time. Void Marshal is pretty good. A twin pins, I like them. Okay, rooms like this, I'm not really gonna bother with the pushing into pits thing. Hello, sir. More health. More ammo. Uh, I guess I'll set that for the tower cannon. Why not? I don't know if tower cannon is going to be a good bossing item. Always, always tricky with this room. I I'm much better at it than I used to be, but I, I still can't ever guarantee I won't be hit. But that that's like one of the rooms why people don't come to the oubliette. I find that funny that there's like two or three rooms where there's those people are just like, nope, not coming to the oubliette. He keeps hovering right over the pit there. Bad idea, my friend. Bad idea. Okay, so this is a, a room where we can definitely get some pit boys. It does like AoE damage too. Hey, we got a key for that. Nice. Beautiful, that did like so much AoE. My God. It's brilliant. We've got such a cool synergy going on right now. Right, uh, let's go to our shop. Let's buy the double air battery. I think it's going to be faster item charges. Cool. It makes sense. Cool. Red. Let's have a little look-see. Charges your actives upon room clear. Damn. That sounds good. That sounds good. So let's try and use our tower cannon here and see how it fends against the boss. I haven't had the mushroom boss in a little while. Okay, seems pretty good. It's it's okay. Let's let's just save our ammo though. Why is that firing a a really bad roll by me there? Um let's just go with like the void marshal or something. Just something that's gonna quickly charge up. Whoa, a little bit of ice patch there. It's gonna quickly charge up our active. The quicker we charge up there, are active, the more damage we're going to do, I think. And it's destroying shots too for us, which is rather nice. I mean, also the gun itself is just very good. <laughs> Doing tons of damage. But there you go, we, we, we beat out this fella. We get another 
portal here. We get um, this from Once Point to the Breach. I can never remember what this does. Is this a Guan Stone? Um, ammo like refilling a gun with ammo permanently increases its damage by 5%. Okay, very good. Very good. Top in here. We've got all stats up. Unbreakable Spirit. Chaos Shift is really fun, but all stats up is one I haven't had before. So I'm more tempted by that one. Um, let's try all stats up. Unfortunately, we can't get another. Um, but that was a pretty decent all stats up. Everything's looking a lot, lot better for us now. Yeah, I like that. That's a, that's a pretty big speed increase too. That that one's a that one's a very powerful one. Okay, so let's whip out the tower cannon again, and I think we just we just want to step on forth, step on our way. We got four coolness already as well. Magic missile is going to be charging very, very quickly. It's going to be pretty good. I I think we're in for a good run here. Man, it's just like, it's nice to have a reason to be at such low HP at this stage in the game. Normally, I'd be at like 3 HP by now. Okay, so let's let's reserve the Tau Cannon specifically for rooms with pits. Just because it has such crazy knockback. Ooh, I think we got a shot speed increase as well. Because that missile was moving decently quickly. We also got a boss damage increase too. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so... So these guys unfortunately don't actually die in the pits, which is a shame. And there's a bunch of tables in here, but no pits. Okay, yeah, we get a lot of charge on our active just from clearing a room. I want to kind of knock him to the side. There you go. I realized I was going to take damage there, but it was worth the risk. Probably wasn't, but, you know, I'm going to say that it was. Let's keep moving. I'm loving this movement speed. It's beautiful. Hello, fella. Okay, that's you taken care of. I don't, can, can we knock back this far? We can. I think all of them, but... Damn it, I'm taking a lot of damage now. Okay, let's let's stop being stupid. The pit the pit kills are fun, but we don't need them. Let's stop being dumb. Let's just buy the full heart. We get we get a coolness upgrade for buying things, so I don't mind I don't mind doing that. There's that. Ooh, that's beautiful for that. Let's go do our mini boss here, because I think the mini missile will destroy him. My goodness. Holy hell. Two mini missiles did it. Sh probably shouldn't have bought the heart now, but oh well. Um, boom. TNT rounds are kind of funny, isn't it? Just enemies can explode when we kill them. 50% uh, chance of enemies can explode violently on death. Yeah, I'm, I'm down with that. That's That's pretty funny. Let's get the Void Marshal out again. Along with the Tau Cannon. Beautiful. Really? He didn't fall in the pit, he died over the pit? You don't fly, mate. Oh, I hurt myself with the Tau Cannon. I'm a stupid. Ah, I'm a stupid. Man, that's beautiful. Damn, I think the explosive enemies is going to be really good too. Because that enemy exploded into the pit. And we got whatever the hell this is. Square peg. Seems interesting. Um, a perfect example of art, of the art of cubism. It fires arrows for some reason. I don't think it's meant to fire arrows. I think I've balked something with my projectiles because a lot of guns from different mods are having issues where they're not firing the right projectiles. I do apologize to anyone where I'm ruining the visuals of their mod with that. I'm not sure what's causing it. <laughs> this, this weapon's cool though, I like it. Thank you. 
Do we want to trade anything, by the way? Is there any weapons that we don't really care about that we want to get rid of? Maybe the Ice Spike, we haven't really used that yet. So hard to drop any items in, like, pits. Okay, that one just sold it. Fair. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that, but I'll take it. I will take it. Okay, let's power through. Oh, yes. All he spawned over pits. Yay, we get money for selling tables to the pit master. <laughs> That's great. And we got a quality. Constantly equalizes blanks and keys. I mean, that's fine by us. That's absolutely fine by me. Okay, boss time. This shouldn't be too bad at all. careful because he is in speed mode right now. I think we're all good for a flawless though, yep. Yeah. I don't think we'll get a portal this time though, and we didn't. We got hit way too much this floor. We got ourselves this thing, which I can never remember how this works. Starts off at zero ammo. Um, upon finding it, there seems to be no shots left inside. Standard issue uh, seems to suck Seems to be stuck on the offensive setting. Hmm. Okay, maybe, maybe I just have to find an ammo up for it. I don't know. We'll figure that one out. First ammo I find, I'll, I'll give that to you. Right, let's push onwards. Carry on forward. Carry on my wayward son. We've, we've lost some coolness somehow. We had 4.5 and now we're on 3.5. Maybe we want one of the guns we were holding was like the cold 45. Gives like a coolness up when you hold it. Or the icicle maybe. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. I definitely saw that it was at 4.5 at some point though. Come on floor, please load. <laughs> the loading screens always scare me. But I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Go ahead and see what's what. Hey, got an extra blank there. Ow. Um. Oh, no way. I walked into the room, walked onto a rat that I didn't even see, and it exploded, hurting me. That's so funny. <laughs> what a little troll. What a little troll. That's cheeky as shit, that is. So, let's, um... Yeah, so again, projectiles, for some reason. Game is not happy with my projectiles right now. I don't know why. I apologize. I lost all my ammo in this thing for some reason. Uh, let's use the cube gun for a bit and the huntsman, I guess. Oh, this other dude was still alive. He just managed to escape. I didn't see you do that, dude. Aha, spawn over a pit, you fool. Oh my god, the chain reactions we've got going on right now. Tell you what we need now. We need the uh we need the one where explosions fire off like mini homing missiles or whatever it was. That one was really good. We've got a lot of explosions going off right now, so that would be work really, really well. Oh, we got an arc rifle. I love the arc weapons. They're so fun. They're some of my favorite weapons that Never Named ever created. Stylistically and gameplay-wise, they're just really fun. I think the shotgun's the best, but the rifle is, is, is a pretty good weapon anyways. There's a lot of damage, and it's just, it's just really cool and fun to use.
A, B. Now, I don't know what's better. Mini missiles, real good, but so is BFG. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna take BFG, just because I think with this char the charge up and the coolness we have right now, it could be really strong. Yeah, and look how much it's charged up already. This fire rate on this thing's a little slow, but the damage is popping off. See, it's like curving around the wall a little bit there as well. That's beautiful. All of you get dropped in the pits. Yeah, it's just damage across the whole room too, which is beautiful. Ow, I don't know what hit me then. I'm getting hit by some random stuff. I don't always see it. It's like every second or third room BFG charges. Why did I do that? <laughs> I picked up health for literally no reason there. Come on, you. Pop up. That was taking a while. one shot on all of these fools, though. More ammo for this bad boy. Okay, so muscle relaxant isn't that just an accuracy up. Table tech sight's pretty good here. A sack full of pickups is fine. And you know what? I'll take that. I'm just kind of up for the coolness right now. The coolness is really good. Sadly, we missed out on this fella. Lots and lots of blanks right now. Goopton. I'm a little bit sad that I didn't come to here first. Because I would have loved to have the, cr the crown. But I'm okay with the stuff that I did buy. I always forget to check for NPCs first. It's a very good habit to get into. So obviously the one problem with the BFG is the fact that you do have to deal with the poison. But I feel like that's not that big of a deal. I don't really know what's our bossing weapon. Could be this, maybe. Let's just chill for now, because we've got this whole bouncy, bouncy phase. Shouldn't be too bad. Okay, yeah, this is, this is good damage. He is taking some poison damage while he's in his faded form. Okay. Seems to have some light herming. In fact, I think it has pretty heavy herming. I thought I was controlling the shots. Turns out they just herm automatically towards whatever's nearest. Also, the BFG is really good because it blanks bullets. But there you go. That, that gun's good. It's very ammo efficient too. And we did indeed get one. Please give us the explosive thing. I'd be so happy. Um, oh, this is the one. Uh, that's the one that just messes up your uh, your dodge roll. It just makes your dodge roll into something horrific. All seeing eye. All seeing eye. Damn, we didn't get the one we wanted. I will at least take that though. Because we do get ourselves a little fella with us. And he is a lot of fun. Okay, I think we're good to go. Let's bounce by the ounce. And away we go. Yeah, unfortunately didn't get the one I was looking for. I'm looking for the one where whenever you, whenever there's an explosion, it fires out like little micro herming missiles. It's really, really good. And it would be like top tier with our current build. But you get what you get. And by the way, for any of you wondering why there's duplicates, it's because they do stack. Like certain ones of them do actually stack together quite nicely. Now, Contractor Killer here is going to be fantastic. I don't know what was going on there. Didn't want to deal with it. We got a shrine here. Is that me? A shrine to a bizarre engineer who psychopathically was rewarded by a, blood <laughs> by a bloodthirsty reptilian horde. Beat your head against the statue. Is this actually me? Turtle power. Oh my lord, yes. Oh my god. 
I, I do wonder, so it's given us a bunch of turtles. I wonder, are they permanent? Are they like, are they like got really, really high HP or something? Or are they just, is, 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 is that shrine just an absolute meme? There's a, there's a possibility of literally both ways. It could go either way. I'm interested to find out which it is though. I'm excited. Um, oh, we got an NPC unlock, what the hell? Um, telekinesis. I remember telekinesis has been really good. Um, there's a lot of good stuff there. What's Voodoo Bullets again? That's 68. We'll, we'll, aim, we'll aim to buy that. Okay, apparently we have this dude to find. <laughs> That's a bit weird. Didn't expect that. Yeah, I want to know, like... But we'll, we'll see by the boss fight how, many, how much HP these things have. But someone made a shrine for me. I don't know who, but that's really cool. I don't know if that's never named or somebody. I'm gonna guess it's somebody just because um, he I updated his mod most recently, and I feel like never named definitely would have mentioned it. Uh, we got synergy with this bad boy. Dies a power. Oh, that's just the increased damage synergy. Pretty good one to be fair. I gotta be careful. My health is very low right now. I just wanted so many turtles. Am I not turtly enough for the turtle club? Come on, my minions. Okay, this is pretty great. They definitely take damage. I'm seeing they definitely take damage. Without taking damage. Well, that's good because I basically can't take damage right now. Okay, you're over a pit anyway, so yeah, you're dead. Okay. We got the Lacan. This is okay. Again, look, it's firing arrows. I don't know what's going on. Someone please tell me. Maybe I've messed something up seriously. I don't know. Boss fight. I'm really looking for my shop right now to buy some HP. Although I do want to buy the voodoo bullets, which I always forget what they do. But I remember them being good and they cost a lot, so they have to be good. I haven't seen a turtle die yet. No way. <laughs> no way. We got turtle problem. <laughs> no way. <laughs> we got turtle problem. That's so funny. <laughs> We have these, these, all these turtles. Maybe, maybe it's that's something to do with the shrine. I don't know, but either way, if that's not something to do with the shrine, that's hilarious. Okay, let's be careful because we've got a lot of fellas coming at us and they do tend to explode. Okay, we're two shot in most of these guys at the minute. One. Two, three on you. Thank God you didn't get to fire. Bit of HP there. That helps me. Makes me feel a lot better. Crack that open. The SA is decent enough. And that's really good. Our speed is going to be crazy. Cell creep. Okay, I think cell creep is definitely worth doing some stuff with. Um, I actually think I'm going to keep every item that I have. Um, and it's, it's more so the weapons I'm going to sell. Let's sell the cold 45. Let's sell... The, the, the square peg's good, but I'm not really using it that much. And let's sell the little tanker as well. And we'll go and buy voodoo bullets. Cool. Right, what do they do again? Let's find out. Whenever an enemy suffers damage, another shall be wounded in kind. Good. That's very good. God damn, we have a lot of blanks right now. Sunlight Javelin's pretty good too here. Don't shoot at them, you idiot. <laughs> they are deadly. Um, I think I'm going to use this thing again because that thing was really good last time. Oxygen. gun. 
Okay, so as you can see, I was able to charge up the BFG off of the BFG, which was pretty nuts. Okay, so some of the turtles are dying, but I don't know if they're the ones from Turtle Problem or not. They might be just the ones from Turtle Problem. That's a very good little bit of uh, weaponry there. Please give us the explosive one, please. Yes. Explosive there. And an all stats up. Hell yes. Explosive birth is going to be nuts. <laughs> it's going to be nuts. And I got the all stats up again. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with risking my HP. For a sweet baby all stats up, hell to the yes. And we have 11.46 speed, people. Oh, we got Curse of Darkness. That's unfortunate, but not terrible. Okay, so my turtles. This is a real testament to see if... No, they are definitely dying. Unfortunately, somebody has created a trap that basically insta-kills all my turtles. Thank you for that. Yeah, you can see even the missiles are arrows for some reason. Go on my contract to kill. Get over there. What? Shoot him. Ow, I stood right in the middle of that. Our shot speed as well is pretty nuts here. God, this Curse of Darkness is a problem. I do not like this. Yes, yeah, I, I think our turtles just have a lot of HP. I was wondering maybe if, like, you give it enough HP, it does something special, like gives you a Super Space Turtle or something, but I don't actually know that for sure. The, ex the uh, um, Explosive Birth doesn't seem to work with the explosions when enemies die, which is a shame. I, 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 might, I might be misseeing that. Oh, no, no, it, it, it maybe does. I don't know. I can't quite tell. Because the enemy doesn't die by the explosion. Oh, no, no, it does work. It does work. Great. Nice, nice. This has been quite beautiful so far. I'm, I'm liking it. Holy hell. Nice. That seems like it could be quite good. <laughs> I'm loving this. Oh, we got ammo. Where's the ammo? Thank you. Where the hell? I, our assassin is helping us to find the remaining enemies in this Curse of Darkness. Got another sack of pickups. Void Core Cannon's probably the best thing there for us right now. Probably should have left that ammo until the end of the room, but oh well. Didn't waste that much of it. I keep forgetting I don't have rat boots. I feel so fast that I just should have rat boots, but I don't. We have a lot of turtles now. What the hell's this? Um, a bullet type crammed within bullets that are crammed within bullets that are crammed within bullets that are crammed within nothing. Oh, God. Oh, that's amazing. Our bullets split into bullets, split into bullets with this thing. Oh, God. I got hit by something. Who knows what? Right, quickly go in here and uh, replenish some HP. Oh wait, it's in the starting room, isn't it? Right, oh, where we go then. Let's do it, do it to it. Oh my god. 
That's, I love this. Fractal rounds are awesome. Is that what they're called? But whatever they're called, I love them. No turtles, no. To be fair, they are protecting me. I put poison way too close to myself then. This thing's nuts. <laughs> this thing's crazy. Like, all the bullets, like, return to me, like, bounce back towards me. It's creating some crazy shenanigans. My turtles are all dead. Big sad. Okay, got him. I think we flawlessed him there as well. Very, very nice. And we got another one of these. My god. We're getting them a lot. I think it's whenever you, like, don't take so much hits on a floor. Okay, so now we take Chaotic cool. Shift. Chaotic Shift, for those of you that don't know, essentially duct tapes a random gun to every gun you currently hold. Um, which, as you can imagine, is pretty nuts. Oh my god. That one's pretty crazy. Get out of the way of all these bouncing bullets. Now this one doesn't seem to fire. Okay, I think some of them are charge if that's why. Yeah, that's why. This gun's nuts. We're going to use a lot of this gun, I think. All right, let's get gone. I wasn't even going to do bullet hell on this run, but nah. This run's too fun to not. We have to try it, even though I've got low HP. Yeah, Kersic Shift's such a fun one, because you could get some really broken, busted duct tapes, or nothing that's any, that's any really worth anything. For the most part, they're always going to be somewhat positive, though, because they're going to increase your ammo. I'm not going to take any of the shrines this time. Some HP there, very nice. Yes, this is... This is what we need. Ah, I'm stuck on the door. No, no. Oh my god, I need to go back and get that HP. Quickly go back and get that HP. I've been hit twice already. Not amazing for a start. Not amazing. My god, the amount of bullets here is insane. I love it. Got some armor there. We're just knocking a guy into a pit. Take some ammo for this bad boy. Don't jump into the- oh my god, I'm knocking the roller. I was moving the roller. I have that much knockback. Hello, sir. You will probably die quite quickly, I would assume. Yeah. <laughs> I thought so. I didn't think you'd live much for very long. We got a black chest out of this as well? Wow. Where is it? Don't destroy it by accident. I don't, what the hell is it? Oh, it's there. Baby Shellington, I got him. I got him. That was close. 
I should have thought about that before I used this gun, but oh well. <laughs> oh, this run's fun. Ah, I, I was just want to say, how did I not get hit? But eventually I did. It all came back to me. Come on, turtle army. Spread your wisdom. I just love that it just clears the whole room. It's nuts. BFG was definitely the, the way to go. Or whatever it's called. I can't remember what, it, what the hell it's called now, but you know what I mean. You know the gun that I'm talking about. I don't even know what the duct tape's gun is doing. I don't know if it's any good or anything. I'm just sitting in my swarm of turtles to keep me safe. Okay. Most waves, uh, most rooms only have two waves as well, so we insta kill the first wave, finish the second wave, and that recharges BFG for the next room. This double air battery has been insane. The first wave dead, pretty much. Not quite, actually. Ow, you hit me? That's kind of crazy. Second wave dead, pretty much. And then. Oh, this, is, this one's a third wave. Good. I like the way it kills multi-phase enemies instantly as well sometimes. Okay, boss time. I'm not super confident here with our current HP, but I'm going to try it. Depends how much damage we end up doing to the boss, really. Like, if, if this setup does crazy damage to the boss, then we might be okay. We do have a lot of blanks, too. I didn't even get to use it, good. I tried to use my thing and it didn't work. Oh my god. <laughs> Do the bullets ever disappear or do they just keep going? It seems it seems like we just keep going. So the more well, the longer we're in a room, the crazier it gets. Try and use the BFG for its blanking capabilities when possible, but don't worry about it. It's very, very difficult for me to actually see the shots coming in, especially the ones at the side like this. Yeah, I got hit there. That's to be expected. I'm trying to use my turtles as, as a moving shield. Now, this, this, this floor, we should be fine because we have just a ridiculous amount of blanks. Uh, we can't see the poison, though. Be careful of that. Okay, we got hit again. There we go. An easy win. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. That was a really fun run. Really fun run. A lot of cool stuff going on there. And the bullets are still going. They're still going. They never stop. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. And to whoever made me that turtle melon shrine, I thank you. That's really funny. Um, <laughs> I really enjoyed that. And I will see you guys in the next one.